What's going on everyone? My name is Rich, this is Theme Park Motivation, and today we're going to take a look at some of the best wooden roller coasters in the entire country. I'm going to tell you my top 10 favorite wooden coasters, and I'm going to give you a little insight. Phoenix is not in my top 10 list. It is a wonderful coaster, but I just feel like it's very overrated. If you feel differently, I totally understand because it is a fun coaster. That being said, I'm going to jump right into it and I'm going to start with my number 10. And that would be Legend at Holiday World. And Legend is such a great coaster. From start to finish, this thing has insane laterals, some great air time, and it's just pretty intense the whole way through the layout. It really picks up speed on the second half of it. I can't really even describe another coaster that comes to mind that's even close to this thing. And I just love how they use the terrain there at Holiday World for all of their wooden coasters. With all the trees and stuff, it makes for a really special ride at night. It only stands at 99 foot tall. The first drop is 113 feet. And the track layout consists of about 4,000 feet of track, making this thing feel endless. My number nine pick is Outlaw Run. This thing is intense the entire layout, obviously with the inversions and a much smoother ride experience versus a traditional wooden coaster, being the fact that this has the topper track from RMC. It does have that one pothole, but it's still an incredible coaster and definitely worthy of the number nine spot. My number eight coaster is Mystic Timbers at Kings Island. And this coaster is very unique in the fact that it uses tight little corners, low to the ground transitions, a lot of speed, quick little pops of air time, and it's just an overall great coaster very smooth. It also has the cool theming about it. Probably one of the better themed wooden coasters. But with that being said, if any of my top 10 made it onto your top 10, be sure to give this video a like. My number 7 coaster, Ravine Flyer 2. This is located at Waldemere in Pennsylvania, right by Lake Erie. And this thing has some incredible views without a doubt. When you get to the top of the lift hill and you can look out and see Lake Erie, I mean there's just something about it. Much like Mystic Timbers, this thing has some great low to the ground transitions, bank turns, and it's just very quick. I just felt like the pacing on Ravine Flyer 2 was just a little bit better than Mystic Timbers. My number six wooden coaster may come as a huge surprise to people, but I believe that the Texas Stingray is probably the best coaster in the state of Texas. I know that's crazy. You've got Iron Rattler, a bunch of different great coasters, but I absolutely love this wooden coaster. It's so smooth and it just has an incredible layout, great laterals, a few different head choppers. This is GCI at their best, as far as I'm concerned. Have you ever been on the Texas Stingray? Do you think it's a top 10 worthy coaster? A lot of people would probably disagree with me, but I'm telling you, if you've never been on this thing, it is an incredible coaster and definitely worth the trip to SeaWorld San Antonio. My number five pick, Boulder Dash, located at Lake Compounds in Connecticut. This thing is relentless, airtime, uses the terrain like no other wooden coaster out there. It has double ups, double downs, allowing for some great airtime moments. It's gotten a little rough over the last few years, but I can't wait to get on it this year. Gotta love how there is those massive boulders all throughout the layout, almost adding another element to the coaster as you feel like you're dodging boulders. So my number four pick, of course it's El Toro. A lot of people probably have this as their number one wooden coaster and I really can't blame them. 
This thing has some awesome air time, some of the best ejector air time out of any wooden coaster I've ever been on. El Toro has one of the best first drops of any wooden coaster out there. I would argue it probably is the best first drop. It also has that insane camel back where you literally feel like you're gonna get tossed right out of the train. Some insane laterals, some great head choppers, and the speed throughout the whole layout is incredible. The only issue I take with this coaster and why it's not number two or number one would be the fact that it's just so unreliable. There's so many issues with this thing. Constantly needing track work done. Other than that, it's insane and I love this thing. So my number three pick, and that would have to be Thunderhead, located at Dollywood. This thing is awesome. One of the best moments when you go through the station. I think that's a great, unique, Thing about this coaster but the transitions on this thing are incredible and it's such a smooth ride Dollywood takes such good care of this thing if somebody asked me which coaster is my favorite one at Dollywood it's definitely Thunderhead lightning rod doesn't even stand a chance against this thing so my number two coaster and that would be Ghost Rider located at Knott's Berry Farms. This is also a very well themed coaster. The stats on this coaster don't really wow you. 108 foot first drop at only 51 degrees, a top speed of 56 miles per hour. But what makes this coaster so great is it's one of the most re-rideable coasters out there. Such a smooth track great little pops of airtime and it's just relentless airtime moment after airtime moment this coaster is phenomenal at nighttime as well it kind of mixes that old school wooden coaster with new school now keep in mind i am not a huge wooden coaster guy but i honestly believe that ghost rider is the best roller coaster in the entire state of california so it takes a lot for me to say that. Don't believe me? You gotta book a trip and get out there to Knott's and get on this thing, cause it is awesome. I'm pretty sure everyone can guess what my number one pick is. And of course it is the Voyage located at Holiday World. This is the best wooden roller coaster in the entire world. That first drop is awesome. I personally think that first airtime hill is better in the front row but that's just me a lot of other people say it's much better in the back either way I don't think you can really go wrong it really doesn't matter where you sit on this coaster it's awesome the speed on this thing is absolutely insane I honestly feel like the second half of this coaster just continues to pick up speed even with the trims on when I went during Hollywood nights and they had that trim off, it does make a big difference and that event is incredible and I highly recommend that if you get the opportunity, make sure to go to Hollywood nights. It will change your life. They run this thing without the trims and it is pitch black. You literally cannot see anything and it makes for a very unforgettable experience. Probably my favorite part of this coaster is the triple down, especially at nighttime. Now I know the Beast is the longest wooden roller coaster in the world. However, a lot of that is just lift hill. This thing is just speed and track and airtime the whole way through and it feels never ending. You literally need a break after getting off of this thing at least a breather, maybe a cup of water, cause it is intense. I wanna thank everyone for watching my top 10 wooden coasters. Hope everyone has a great day. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Really do appreciate it.